Well, this thing should scoot now. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, welcome to today's video. I've got some very exciting special thing in wait was this a new video or is this an old video? I don't know But you guys know brain broke. Dude, yeah brain broke. It's a busy morning. There's a lot of things going on. I lost That's what I was looking for. Thank you, sir. So God, this is a long story. All I can say is guys I got some explaining to do What is that? If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Uh, it'll all make sense later on in the video. Or should I just say it? Yeah. Basically, Whistling Diesel asked me if he could store his car at my farm. So of course I said yes. Verbatim asked me about my farm. This is farm LZ now. I love that. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a solution right now. He's got to drive somewhere. I got to keep my clients happy. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of puddles out. That's the whole situation yep. right there. That's so, really good. I have some uh, filter socks from AEM that I'm gonna see if they'll fit on here real quick. I was specifically instructed not to touch the titanium and it's taking everything in me yeah. not to just, I don't know if this is top secret so we might need to blur this out, yeah. but this thing looks wild. That's so insane looking. I almost wanna bring Johan over here just so Johan can not sleep tonight thinking about how much of a pain in the ass this would have been to do. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna let the record hold these are very special. These have been on my 350Z the entire time I've owned it. <laughs> These are in great shape, super clean. They're actually not that bad. Yeah, but anyway. These are kind of like um, little like filter socks from AEM. So if you hit like a puddle or something, uh, it's hydrophobic would I guess mm -hmm. be the word. So you don't just absorb all the water in the filter. So hopefully they fit because this would be way better than having to drive to my shop to get the other size ones that I have. It looks like. That's good enough. Yeah. This is good enough garage over here. Look at that. It works. So originally, while Cody, AKA Whistling Diesel, was out at the compound, we were gonna try to film something, but plans kinda got changed because of a rainstorm, and we didn't have a lot of time. So I asked him if he wanted to go for a ride in the 350Z, and I'd give him a little drift tour around the compound, and that's what we did. I don't care if they can see us. <laughs> no, this, this, the, the square, it's more than the square. Okay. Everyone always laughs every time I ride in something new how much I grin, so. <laughs> well, it's slow, don't get too excited. It'll be fast to me. I was just like, I feel like everyone has a, the negative connotation of drifting being like, feeling like you're on ice or like needing like- That's what I feel like. Tires. Yeah, no, I, I always feel like, oh, you, you gotta be like insanely skilled to do any sort of drifting or you're just gonna spin out, but. But the cool thing is drifting, like we try to put a ton of grip in all the cars. So really? like we're running like 315s air down on the other cars. Really? And like they make more grip than some cars driving. Huh. And it's, it's fun. You just gotta have a But this motor. is gonna be the exact opposite. This is gonna be like <laughs> super loose. This is just 
how I feel every time I crash. I think it's, it's time. It's a closed course with a professional driver. <laughs> uh, I, I know you can handle it. I gave him my filters off this car. Oh! <laughs> oh, she might be in limp mode now. Well, we got a little lap in. Yeah, we did. We got water in the station but thankfully we've got the purest in the world here. I don't know if we showed we moved the whole tote setup over but got a brand new full tote of Ignite red 
90% ethanol. He's gonna love how this stuff smells. He's gonna be hooked. These things fill up so quick. Oh yeah. Is that good, dude? I'm scared. You better be. How much, how much gooder than normal? You're gonna be like 30 times faster, dude. It's basically <laughs> nitrous. I'm just kidding. This is 90% ethanol content. He said it took him like two days, Johan. What are you? Two days? Yeah, it was quick. Yeah, that's quick. That's me. <laughs> yeah. I can smell that from here. But two days to attack it. No. That's what you said. Than that. Two days to pack it. Yeah. I mean, if it's a one off, yeah. Um, hey, who did this? It. Don't touch it. Um, who did this? Charlie from 316. Okay. Mm. He does this a lot. Yeah. I know. I follow them. Why is he doing that? <laughs> I don't know. It's shoving deeper. Oh, yeah. Come on, Pie Cup Master. Are they verified? They verified Pie Cup? I mean, well? This dude is more verified than I am. <laughs> so I follow these guys and they do pretty amazing. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's just wild. like cool to see it in person and see what they do and how they do things. Yeah. And, like, it's, it's wild. Oh, that's not good for it. Showman, detail rags. Everything. What? Pronto. Everything. Detail rags. What? Ethanol, an expensive car. Water. Go faster. God, why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a seat check, did you? That can't be good. No, it's coming out. It's good. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Slow. Doesn't look like it. Now it's coming, I promise. I hope so. <laughs> Let me tell you, dude, this, this happens to me on a daily basis with all my other R8 customers. Okay. <laughs> that, that's coming out, dude. Just just yank it all at once. Just no, get, the, get the band aid off. It's good. Okay, yeah. that makes me feel better. Well, this thing should scoot now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't fill it up with 93 ever, even though I can, because yeah. the power's just boring. Yeah. And yeah. it's rainy, so. All right. You are good to go, Mr. Right, Whistling, sir. Right. <laughs> Thank you for the service. That was really cool. Uh, Cody went actually pretty far out of his way to stop by here, uh, come visit my farm. You know, Mike put me onto his channel, Whistling Diesel. Like a couple weeks before, I actually met him in person at one of Cletus's races. He's actually a really nice dude, and I respect the shit out of him because in his videos, he just basically does the crazy shit, and it gets everyone talking about it. And some of the stuff that he's done with trucks, well, me and Mike were debating whether we should sacrifice the good old F350 to uh, destroy it while he was here, but luckily we only had like 30 minutes. So, no destroying trucks, but we got to take the Z out real quick. It was fun. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more in the future. I'm trying to go drift his farm, take my Z off-roading, and that was a cool way to start the day.